Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, I am back inside of Red Dead Redemption 2. And today's video, uh, we're going to uh, we're going to Dutch to meet this so-called Angelo Bronte. But we have a question mark on the map. Companion. I've just been doing some stuff outside of recording, guys, and... Uh, Lenny asked me for a pocket watch, I gave it him and apparently he's left something up in my room in Shady Bell so we'll go get that in a minute Hi Karen Hi there but First let's see what the question mark is Hey Arthur You wanna talk? Happily with you, yeah You okay, Arthur? Sure. You don't look okay. Uh, I'm fine. What you been doing? <sighs> Acting like a fool. How so? <sighs> Hurting and robbing folks I didn't need to. My, you have been busy. <laughs> well, that's one way of looking at it. You're a good man, Arthur. Underneath, I mean. I've lost my mind, Mary Beth. It's finally happened. I, I, don't, I don't feel in control. Just stay calm and do what you do best. It seems I'm best in mayhem. Sure, I'm no better than Micah. Yes, you are. Just do what you gotta do and stop getting into trouble. We'll see. Thanks, my Beth. <laughs> you okay, old man? I'm sure. <laughs> just dandy, partner. Just dandy. Where's my horse? Oh, what you doing all the way over there? Uh, Alright, let's go see what they need to have my bed. Hi. Hi. Was that? Javier Escuela. Oh no. Javier has got a bounty. She's heartbroken. So she won't talk to her through the window. No, right. that sucks. You good, Abigail? Hello. How are you doing? Not She's struggling. Best. You'll be okay. Yeah, all right. She is struggling. What is that? Dynamite. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Lenny. Well, just one, because I need to kill myself. Ah! Yep, just one.
Go inside this. No, what's gone? Oh, it's gone. I'm taking you down with me, my car. Oh. I'm taking you down, Arthur. I should spawn my horse. Hey guys, if you're wondering why like the um, my gameplay keeps freezing like this, like that, it's because I'm checking what the recording time's on so I know how long the video is. Oh yes! Oh, something else. I've done some exploring. I went back to the Grey's place. I'll come back to that in a minute. But I went to uh, Carnley Dell, where we done that stagecoach robbery with Jose, and I found some more things. Anyway, I went to the Grey's place and I found a wagon with a nice big white horse on it. A female horse. So I've made it mine and I've given it a name. I'll go get her now so you can see. And the old white horse I had to get rid of because I didn't have the room for it. So I got clip tonight. Now, you ever let this horse feed? Not too bad. I got space for you if you need stable. And I got lightning. And I got summer. Can anyone spare a coin for a blind man? Fine. Someone there? Hello? Please. We'll give Can money. you spare some money for a blind man? There you go, oh, friend. Oh, bless you, mister. Truly, you're a saint. <laughs> yes, sir. There should be more people in the world like you. God bless. Please, anything you can spare would be much appreciated. Time for the real test, if he is blind. I know it. Hello? Is someone there? Can you spare anything for a blind man? Get, get up, mate. <laughs> Thank you for your kindness. Reckon it's time I tried a different spot. You'll have to practice if you want to get away with that part of the trick. Just leave me alone. No, it wasn't blind. God. Yeah, it's a nice horse, this. Nice one. Bonjour, monsieur. Come on, girl. That's a big rain crowd. Where's Dutch? There it is. Can I jump this? Of course, can't. Go faster. There you are. You boys ready? Of course. What else do you know about this guy? Not much. Just see some slick little greasy haired European who's clearly got power and money. Now, listen. 
we go in there and start shooting up the place, the boy's gonna get shot, that I guarantee. Better like this, he's gonna have a lot of protection. Ain't no one gonna get shot, Arthur, so everyone just relax. We'll charm him. Trust me. This the place? <coughs> Must be. You okay, John? I guess. This house looks haunted. Excuse me, sir. We have an appointment to see Mr. Bronte. Who are you? Put your hands down. You get your boss down here and now so we can talk about this like gentlemen. Huh. Run along now, boy. Was that the special Dutch charm I heard so much about? Relax. You looking for a brother? I got this. It certainly looks like you got this. Put your hands down. Wimps. Don't worry, boys. We come in peace. We just need to straighten a couple of things out with your boss. Sono sti buffoni. Sono qui per picciotto. Coi soldi? Why do you take his son? Excuse me. I said, why did you take his son? We ain't got no problems with you, sir. Nor you with us. But if you want to start one, there's going to be a lot of folks dead in this room before it's done. So, you walk into my city, stinking of shit and looking like this, and you come into my house before you have a bath and you tell me how to act? You ask me to show compassion. Have I not shown you almost infinite compassion already by simply allowing you to breathe in my presence? Calm down. Indeed you have. Now, we are simple country folk. All we have is each other. And you have gone and you have took his son over some dispute with some inbred ex-slavers. It ain't got nothing to do with any one of us. You had nothing to do with destroying the liquor business. We was innocent bystanders. And that which we weren't innocent of, well, we, we most surely were ignorant of. You twist words, you, you lie shamelessly, you think you are better than everyone else. Diodoro, <laughs> not the barest woman, <laughs> Angelo Bron. <laughs> Dutch Vanderlyn, uh, Arthur Morgan. Arthur, uh, the pleasure is mine. John Marston. <laughs> All mine, please. <laughs> <laughs> So, what uh, just happened? Can my friend have his son? Of course, of course. <laughs> but, uh, oh, should I be yeah, able to talk it over a misunderstanding? No, of course I know you would not want that, huh? No. No, no, no. So, how about this? You perform a simple job for me, and you get your son back. What is it? A couple of people have taken to grave robbing in this cemetery. Well, that is a fine place for it, the best. <laughs> <laughs> I love this guy. I love you. <laughs> See, they've taken not only to desecrating the dead, but they've done so without paying a tribute to the living. Thing is, they see my men, of course, they run a mile. So maybe you two head off, huh? And you, Mr. Van der Lind, well, you tell me more about my manners. <laughs> Salute. Salute. What's just happened? Girl? You walk into my city. Shut up.
You talk to me about manners. Come on then. You know where the cemetery is? I think so. Pretty Sure I rode by it earlier. It's real impressive. Oh, I'm tired of you know, riding through the streets. You did good. Hmm. Holding your tongue in there. Do you trust one word that comes out of that bastard's mouth? We don't even know where Jack is. Listen, we found Bronte. We got in there. Dutch is with him now. All things considered, it could have gone a lot worse. That poor kid. I ain't been a good father to him. I hope... <sighs> he's okay. He'll be fine. I figure... The Braithwaites were going to hold Jack Branson for all the money we cost him. They must have sent him here so we couldn't get to him. But Bronte knows by now there's no Braithwaites left to pay him. Jack ain't much use to him anymore. Let's just get this done and let Dutch handle the rest. I just hope you're right. Okay, I think this is it. Keep it down. Let's hitch your horses up ahead. How was that? This way. All right. Let's see what's going on in here. I'm gonna check over here. Oh, there's someone there. Keep it down. Don't want him to bolt on us. <laughs> Here somewhere. Come on. Sorry, uh, I had a bit to drink. Your friend died. They can hear us, you know. They're still with us. You should get out of here, mister. Thanks, say. Get in cover. What's going on? You made a big mistake coming in, huh? Who do you think you are? You're gonna run people up? No doubt. How would they just disappear? You can hardly see what I'm shooting at. If it moves, you blast it. Holy hell! I can think. 
think of better ways to spend an evening. Next time, Dutch can go and I'll have the drink. Sure hope they ain't seeing better than we are. Just keep your head down. You all right? I'm fine. I think that's all of them. All right. Now let's find their stash. Gotta be around here someplace. Okay, but we'll need to be quick. Boy, back in the building where we just started. Where am I going? Robbers. We've hit the big time. Says it all that. Think there might be something in here. Is that it? Got it. Oh, that's all we need. Law men. What are we doing? Do you see me? Just one, just one, just one, just one. What? We've been set up. Well, it's lucky I ain't a religious man. Let's just get back there. Collect our side of the deal. You all right? You best not be playing games with us. He almost certainly is. So let's just see. If if all went religious, why do we have a weapon, Swanson? Feeling most things around here get back to him pretty fast. Like I said, could you see where we're at once we got Jack? Come on, Arthur. Well, you took your time. Where's your host? Like I said, oh, he is here. You took your time. Ah. I'm glad to see you. Let's get going. What a fine man. Hey, friend. Uh, thank you Mr. Bronte you for right? everything. Yeah, I'm fine. Come on. You know, Arthur, Mr. Bronte when? has invited us to a garden party at the mayor's house. Oh my god, I have a bigger horse and dodge. <laughs> and us, just simple country boys. Come on, son. Let's go. Hey. We have a new camp set up, Jack. You're gonna love it. All right, let's get this boy back to his mother. You sure you're okay, son? Make up your mind, Dutch. I'm fine. Papa Bronte said you'd come for me. 
Oh my god, don't call him that. I'm sorry. What for? For that. For taking so long. I had a fun time. I had my own room with a big bed and a toy box. And lots of books. Did they do anything to you? Have you ever had spaghetti? What? What's that? It's food. It so looks like worms, but it's delicious. Is that right? Papa Bronte teach me lots of Italian words. Don't call him that. Don't call him that, please. You know, cavallo? That means horse. And fantafola? That's a slipper. A slipper? They gave me two pairs. One for day and one for night. Well... Uh, What's a pair of slippers called then? I'm just glad you're alright. Oh, yes. I had the best time. But I can't wait to see Mama. Did she miss me? She you bet. sure did. Like you wouldn't know. You had a nice night then. Most enjoyable. Well, the man's an intolerable blowhard, but he stocks a fine bar. How did you fellers get on? Any problems? A whole heap of them. We about doubled the population of that graveyard. You know, I Sounds thought about I heard gunshots, but the gramophone was playing. Unbelievable. Each to their strengths, Arthur. I went in there with a gun and left with a party invitation. So, what'd you say this was? A garden Whoa. party? A big gala at the mayor's house. I'm told every rich fool in Lemoyne will be there. Bronte? Oh, he'll be there too. Seems to more or less run this city. At least that's the way he sees it. Could open of course up some it is. opportunities for us. It's been a chaotic few days. But we can finally move forward now. Get the money we need and disappear. Hey, they're back. I think I see Jack. Abigail! Abigail! We got you, your son. Everything. We got him! Mama! He's fine! I'm fine, Mama. They fed me good. <laughs> Italian food. <laughs> Did you ever eat that? Come here, you silly boy. Uh, <laughs> you got him. You got my son back. Dutch, Arthur, thank you. Thank you. I got my son back. Jack, Jack, Jack. How are you, boy? I'm fine, thanks. Everything's okay now. Abigail? Can I go play now? <sighs> so, well, we met Mr. Bronte. He is a idiot character. Is he now? You ever meet an Italian strong man before? <laughs> Not outside of a circus. Well, let me tell you all about him. John, you go be with your family. Arthur, thank you. Boys, we got some work to do. Interesting work. But first, let's have a drink. <laughs> we got Jack back. <laughs> well. Boy, say thank goodness. Everyone thank you, Arthur. I... <clears throat> I don't know how to say it. Thank you. I understand. Come on. Do as Dutch says. <clears throat> Go be with your family. All right, guys. I'm going to end this video here. But there will be a part two to this video because basically we celebrate Jack being back. And I don't know how long it lasts, so I'll end this video here and then I'll just record the celebration. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in part two.